Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know I said I was going to try and do a video once a month but that's just not happened yet. Uh, the last couple of months have been quite busy with work and home life and all the rest of it so I'll apologise in advance for that but I have brought you out today on a bit of an epic adventure, hopefully an epic adventure. Um, I've come out specifically to photograph wildlife today. I've I've made my way uh, from where I live near Birmingham in the UK out to uh, Clamberis Pass uh, in North Wales with the hopes of finding some uh, wild uh, feral longhorn goats. I just think they're such incredible animals and I, I, I haven't seen anybody uh, photograph them from, uh, from Wales yet. I've seen a few friend, friends from Scotland do it but uh, They've, uh, they've not shot any in Wales yet, so that's my mission today. I've, uh, I mean, you can, you can probably see in the background there, the <laughs> this place is just unbelievable. So at the moment I've got, uh, I, guess, I guess it would be the, the backside of uh, Glidderfach uh, to my back at the moment, and off in the other direction there we've got, uh, we've got the back of Snowden and Cribgoch which if I spin you around just for a second Hopefully you've been able to see that there's uh, still a touch of snow on the uh, on the ridge of Cribgoch there. So uh, fair play to anybody that's up there hiking, scrambling and climbing it today. But that won't be me, not hauling all this camera gear anyway. But uh, yeah, so I've driven about halfway down the pass to uh, an area known as Cromlech. It's, uh, it's been relatively well known to uh, to, to be home to these feral goats so I figured seeing as that's a well-known place that's the place to start so we are here hopefully you can hear me over the uh, over the waterfalls and the wind noise because it's a bit breezy down here at the moment but uh, yeah so we are on the side of the hill I've literally just parked the car jumped out got my gear on and come over the road um, there's a small break in the wall which I've used to to cross onto the mountain climbers path what they normally use to get up to uh, Dinas Cromlech but uh, yeah so we are here so yeah on the way down the pass I did see a couple of the uh, the longhorn billy goats um, uh, there was nowhere for me to stop unfortunately otherwise I'd have jumped out there and been photographing straight away but uh, I found a little parking spot, so uh, fingers crossed we should we should be able to see some uh, some goats. But I know where I saw those ones before, so worst case scenario, I'll just make my way up the pass. I've got all day, so um, yeah. So that's that's going to be the plan. So rather than just sit here waffling at you for a bit, I shall uh, get geared up make my way up the pass, see if we can find anything to photograph. Uh, and when I do find something, I shall bring you back and tell you all about it. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a few. Was a quick search. We've uh, stumbled across a group of uh, nannies and, and one particularly young kid um, just ambling about the rocks, eating their fill. It's uh, it's ice to see, to be honest. They're they're incredible little animals. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see them on this wide angle but they are just up here but don't worry I've shot plenty of uh, pictures and video for you all to see so it should be uh... good grief this wind oh, it's howling down the pass at the moment I don't know if you can see this huge boulder I've got next to me I'm trying to hide behind this huge boulder to try and stay out of the wind a little bit but at the moment it doesn't seem to be working so I'll do my best but I do apologize for any wind noise you're picking up there and there's a few cars going past because I'm really not that far from the road probably 100 yards but yeah so I've, I've shot a load of uh, a load of pictures a load of video of these uh, nannies and kids so I'm going to make my way up the pass now and see if I can find those uh, those billies that I saw with the humongous horns so that's that's what I really wanted to see so I'll see if I can go and find them okay guys I'll bring you back in a bit here's a here's a few videos of the uh, of the nannies and the kids that I just found just now Well, folks, as you can probably tell by the few uh, few spots on the on the lens and a bit of the howling wind, the, the weather's starting to come in a little bit now. I, I've spotted another another family of nannies and kids, but I'm just trying to work my way around to a spot where I can where I can actually photograph them from because they they're very clever at hiding behind the boulders, although they're not particularly timid. 
I'm just having to, uh, to sort of box clever with it a little bit if you like. But uh, I'll get some pictures, I'll get some video. But uh, it's bloody cold out here today. The uh, It's got like kind of rain, kind of snow, sleet. Got a little bit of everything going on today so I'll, uh, I'll keep moving and if I manage to get some pictures and video of these uh, these nannies and kids I'll uh, I'll bring you back with some of that <laughs> incredible little characters though they are I think I managed to get a few uh, few decent pictures and video there. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked by these uh, these nannies and the kids. Some of the kids are a little bit older now and they're starting to actually grow horns into into what I would call a proper billy. But uh, yeah, they're uh, the, the way they clamber over the rocks are far more agile than I could ever be. But this place, I mean, look at that nonsense there. Unbelievable. I think this is the kind of place where you could explore for a lifetime and never get bored of what you see. I'll spin you around the other way, look. That's towards the head of the pass. And that's the way that I'm going, so I shall uh, keep plodding on, keep aiming for where I saw those uh, those big billies earlier, and uh, we'll see if we can see if we can find some pictures to be had. Uh, hopefully the rain holds off. It's it's stopped at the moment, and it looks like the sun's trying to break through. And this will probably blow you out completely, but yeah, the sky's just white. But never mind. We'll uh, we'll keep plodding on. I mean, the, the ground is so saturated at the moment, as you've probably seen in the little bits of B-roll that I've been doing. It's so saturated. There's just there's rivers running through just fields now, where, whereas before it would have just been a proper river. It's just all over the place. And last famous words, it looks like it's trying to rain again. So I'll keep plodding and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. Catch you in a few guys.
it's still a bit breezy folks hopefully you can hear me but uh, persistence pays off as it happens um, you probably can't see it at the moment but there's there's a couple of big billies in this field over here um, I've just spent a few minutes video and a photograph in them but uh, yeah they, they look pretty awesome I'll, I'll zoom it in see if you can see on the wide angle not really just about there look but uh, yeah <laughs> strangely there's a couple of uh, a couple of big strong billies there but there's a couple of kids running about and play fighting and stuff as well that <laughs> they've been properly entertaining as much as I like the big billies the kids have been the, the most entertaining part of this today but uh, it's getting cold now it's constantly trying to rain I'm soaked through I'll, I'll see if I can show you <laughs> I'm not sure how well that came through on the video, but uh, kneeling down in absolutely saturated grass is, an is a guarantee to get you absolutely wet through. So uh, I think I'm probably going to think about heading back to the car very shortly. I'll spend a bit more time with these uh, with these billies, but uh, yeah, what a day! What a day in this place, Clamberis Pass. Uh, I never tire of it. I've been driving up and down it for 20 years and it just never, never gets dull. But there you go. It's been a good day out. I was up at 5 o'clock this morning, so I'm due a rest, I'm due a coffee and I'm due something to eat. So I'm going to make my way back through the bog, back to the car. Um, and we'll see what we can put together. Well, thanks for following along, guys. I'll uh, I'll catch you back up in a few, and I'm a bit closer to the car. Reckon there's a chance of there uh, being a few frogs around here soon.
Welcome back guys. I last spoke to you perhaps an hour ago. Oh, I got sidetracked by some more billy goats. And I was here so it made sense to stop and photograph them. But I am trying to make my way back in earnest now. He, uh, I don't remember in the Lord of the Rings there being that much water in Mordor but that's the way it goes I guess you can't always uh, make the weather behave and now I am fully soaked so now all I've got to do is wind my way through this boulder field, try not to fall in any rivers, get back to the car, have a coffee, make my way home. Well folks, that's it for this adventure. If you've enjoyed following along with this one and you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so at least then when I upload new videos you'll be the first to see them I appreciate the audio quality today has not been fantastic unfortunately I can't control the wind back at the shelter and warmth of the car thank god I am frozen uh, I've, as you can probably tell I've got changed out of my uh, my green hiking gear into something a bit more comfortable and a bit more dry uh, which should make the drive home a bit more pleasant if nothing else but uh, I don't know if you can hear that outside but there's hail smashing off the outside of the car right now Well there you have it, as soon as it arrives it disappears, crazy hail, mad mountain weather, I've had it all today, uh, on the walk back to the car I had hail, snow, rain, sun, so, uh, rainbows, low clouds, all of it, but on the plus side we did get to photograph some mountain goats so it was all worth it, but I am going to make my way home now, I've got a cup of coffee, I'm going to see what I can find to eat and then uh, I should be on my way out of here. So I'd like to thank you for joining me on this one 
Uh, it's been a good uh, a good day out. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, apart from being you know freezing cold and soaking wet. But that's what comes with photography sometimes. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, it only takes a second, but it makes a great big difference to me. So uh, I'd really appreciate the thumbs ups there. Um, and if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, so whenever I uh, whenever I release a new video, you're the first one to know about it. So I shall sign off here uh, and make my way home because I want to shower. So I will catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks for joining me. Tarara bit.